Hey guys, thanks for joining me again for another episode on my YouTube channel, Long Live the Brains. It's April of 2019, and April is Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month. So I want to jump back into talking about Parkinson's disease, and today I'm going to focus on an area of the disease that oftentimes gets overlooked, and that's the non-motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Now, back in video 37, I talked about the constellation of symptoms that makes up Parkinsonism. So you can refer back to that video for the details. But today, I'm going to focus on the non-motor symptoms. So I've come up with an acronym to help remember what some of these non-motor symptoms may be. The acronym is ABCs. A stands for autonomic symptoms. Now what is this? I'll refer you back to video 49 for a complete description of autonomic dysfunction, but essentially we're talking about the body's ability to regulate things without you having to think about them. So another way of thinking about the autonomic symptoms is the automatic stuff. So your breathing rate, your sweating, your bladder and bowel function, uh, the maintenance of your blood pressure. So patients with Parkinson's disease may oftentimes experience dysfunction of any of a number of these um, areas. So um, you can have constipation, which is very common in patients with Parkinson's disease. In fact, almost 90% of patients with Parkinson's disease will experience constipation. Now the B in ABCs is for behavioral dysfunction. Um, later on in the disease, um, patients with Parkinson's disease may develop um, symptoms such as um, anxiety or depression um, or impulse control issues. Now, impulse control issues um, I'll talk about in a separate video, but these have largely been tied to the use of dopamine agonist, and we'll talk about dopamine agonist in a later video. Um, but the C in ABCs stands for cognition. So they're later in the disease, kind of similar to how behavioral issues may occur later in the disease, but later cognitive decline may occur. And this is mostly characterized by a slowing of cognition. So one way of thinking about it, going back to the motor symptoms, um, one of which is bradykinesia or slowness of movement, Patients with Parkinson's disease may develop sort of a slowness of thought, okay? And then for the ABCs, um, C's being SS, um, one of the S's stands for sleep. So sleep disturbance is very common in Parkinson's disease. Um, insomnia can occur as a, a result of uh, being in an off state or when your dopamine levels are low. But there's another phenomenon known as REM sleep behavior disorder that is also common in Parkinson's disease. And I'll refer you to video 51 for a complete description on what REM sleep behavior disorder is, or RBD for short. Now the last S is sensory. Sensory dysfunction is common in Parkinson's disease and can be characterized in a number of ways, um, including pain, um, but most commonly, is dysfunction of smell. The word we use for that is called hyposmia, and that's a very common finding in Parkinson's disease. So to sort of sum up the non-motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease, and this is by no means an, ex uh, an exhaustive list, but one way to kind of think about everything and group it together are the ABCs. So A, B, C, S, and S. So A is autonomic, B is behavioral, C is cognitive, S is sleep, and then the other S is sensory.